But what we're here to discuss today, and believe me, trying to drive into the, the depths of individual drug pricing is not, um, was not something I set out to initially do. But it doesn't take very long to talk to parents or talk to people who are afraid that if this EpiPen is not within arm's reach, when their young child suddenly needs it, it do, you don't have to talk to somebody very long to figure out that they have to have this. It's not optional. I know there is considerable concern and skepticism about the pricing of EpiPens, and I think many people incorrectly assume that we make $600 off of each pen. It's simply not true. Recent EpiPen price increases have not yielded the revenue to Mylan that many assume. In the complicated world of pharmaceutical pricing, there is something known as the wholesale acquisition cost. Since 2014, the wholesale acquisition cost for two EpiPens increased from 401 to 608 or 51 percent. But the net revenue to Mylan after rebates and fees, what we actually received, increased from 235 to 274. In other words, the annual increase to Mylan for the last two years was approximately 8 percent per year or 16.6 percent cumulatively during this period. From that, you must subtract our cost of goods, which is $69. This leaves a balance of $205. After subtracting EpiPen-related costs, our profit is $100 or approximately $50 per pen.